Hello there everybody, Adam Cleary here and a very, very special hello to the commenter who asked on Andy Murray's news piece, how many videos can you non-Simon idiots squeeze out of Brock Lesnar's return? Well pal, I've got two words for you. One more! Yes, that's right. In a shocking moment at last night's Hell in a Cell, Brock Lesnar made his unexpected and far sooner than anticipated return to WWE. And he looked... lean. Anyway, I'm sure you've seen the thing by now. His music hits, he comes down to the ring, he boots the cell door clean open, then he batters Reigns and Strowman, and the referee just sort of goes, oh, okay, well, I guess that's that then, and ends the match, because WWE want you to see Lesnar as the pantomime villain in all this, not the creative team. WWE immediately goes off the air. The entire crowd chants bull bleep for the second pay-per-view in a row, and all that's left for us to do is wonder why that actually happened. Like, Brock's left to go to UFC, He's fighting there. Soon enough, what is he doing interfering in a title match? Well, pals, I've got two more words for you. Saudi Arabia! Yes, according to the Wrestling Observer, Brock is going to be in the main event of an as yet unannounced, but still frequently rumored WWE show in Saudi Arabia. Now, you remember Greatest Royal Rumble, don't you? Well, we're getting some kind of quasi follow-up to that possibly even as early as this year. So thus, Brock comes back here, smashes up Roman and Braun, and we're either gonna get a triple threat between the three of them, because let's not forget, Strowman still has that silly green belt from Saudi Arabia, or we just get the fifth installment of Lesnar versus Reigns. Now, either way, it is absolutely baffling that this is apparently not going to be broadcast on the network, but, there we go. I should also point out that this in no way whatsoever impacts Brock's UFC plans. The crack there is he's still gonna have a match early next year. He's still just waiting for his suspension to finish. And let's face it, a 10 minute money spinner on the other side of the world in the next couple of weeks or months is not gonna hurt that one little bit. So yeah, you can, um, you can say what you want about this slightly questionable Saudi oil money, but between this and a rumoured in-ring return for Shawn Michaels and, of course, Titus falling over onto his face, you cannot say it hasn't been good value thus far. But anyway, let us know what you make of all this by leaving a comment below. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter here-ish, What Culture Wrestling on Twitter here-ish. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I have, of course, been Adam Cleary, and I will see you soon. Pew!